morning, good morning, guys. Hey, this is Greg, and I want to go ahead and do an account update with you to show you what's going on with my Robinhood account. So as you can see, we have $8,886.35. This is our daily chart, and we're up positive $37.39 or positive 0.42% for the day. Another positive 22.22% dollars and 22 cent or positive 0.25 after hours now weekly chart we're up 143 dollars and four cent or positive 1.64 our monthly chart we up 375.76 or positive 4.42 our three month chart we're up 1739 dollars and 33 cent or positive 24.34 our yearly chart we're up 29.17.38 or positive 48.88 percent in our all-time chart we're up 28.93.70 positive 48.29 percent so our buying power right now is 732 dollars and 34 cent and as you can see we have a list of option contracts that we've been working on and we've been receiving um covered call premiums and cash secured put premiums we do have some long call options in place and some long put options in place that we receive money from as well and as we kind of scroll down you can see that we're still holding on to quite a many uh different stocks i want to say we're like at 15 or 16 different stocks we've added a few new ones amarin um limelight network genius brands gtt of course we've had rolls royce for a while lpcn dnn so we've We've added quite a few different stocks and what I want to do is click on account and kind of give you a quick overview of everything. Stock options, 83.88% between stocks and the options or $7,454.01 that is kind of wrapped up in that. Then we have another 16.12% in cash, which is $1,432.34. So most people will say, hey, well, we just saw that your cash set $700 dollars is some change well this money is between is wrapped up between actual cash and loan call or put options they kind of add that into that mix right so as we scroll down or actually um cash secure puts if i'm not mistaken i got a long i got two long cash secure puts in there but um as you can see we have our stocks right here pbf energy azul airlines goldman Sachs fund psec Prospect Capital, United States Oil Fund, British Petroleum, Denison Mines is one of the new ones, Center Coast MLP or CEN, Carnival, Rolls Royce, Genius Brands is a new one, Amarin is a new one, Lipozine is a new one, Limelight Networks is a new one, and GTT is a new one. As you can see, we kind of went in between the 400 and 200 share range between uh, most of them, and actually between the six, we're negative in all of them, right? Now, we use these last five to do cover call options or cash secure put options. So even though it says that we're negative in, in, in these different stocks, we're actually not negative because we've been doing this for about two months with most of these uh, these stocks. So we've been picking up quite a bit of money um, from them, right? So what we wanna do is go ahead and kind of add up, kind of add up how much money we're actually negative. So we're gonna start from the bottom, just go work our way up to that 5596. So we're gonna go 123 plus 97 plus 78 plus 70 plus 60. Oh, messed up. No, 69 plus 5596. We're gonna come out with 492 dollars and 96 cents. So that's what we're negative right now. And as we scroll up, we see that the count has jumped <laughs> that quick. It's 89, 26, 37 right now, right? So we're just gonna add that to the mix because we wanna know, hey, if the count of the negative stocks were to go, um, if the negative stocks were to go um, break even, then we wanna know how much money we actually have total, right? So we're gonna add that up to the 89.26.37. We come out with $9,419.33, which means that we're roughly about 600, you know, we'll just say $600 away from our $10,000 goal. Um, so go ahead and exit out of that. 
as you can see the count is moving around and the uh, stock market hasn't opened yet it doesn't open to to nine o'clock for pre-market or whatever but um as you can see things are moving around but overall we're almost at our goal and that's just if his last six stocks were to go back up to our break even area right so we know we have a couple of things that we can do to get it closer to the break even and that would be simply averaging down right buying more shares of the stock um, in order to lower our average cost right so we're in gtt 300 shares at 195 the current price is 154. now of course if you're dealing with um if you're dealing with 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 option contracts you're able to go in and put in for cash secure puts to receive monies and that can actually help you average down it won't really show on the Robinhood platform but it will show up if you put it inside your your um your spreadsheets that that we talked about right so anyway i'm not going to continue to carry on hopefully you guys see what's going on when it comes to my account and and understand that hey our plan is to get ourselves to about ten thousand dollars we're still going to be holding on to our different shares but overall we plan on kind of selling out um, those particular shares and moving forward um, I'll show you a quick glimpse of the spreadsheet as you can see if we sold everything will be at twenty one thousand six hundred and eighty dollars profit will be at thirteen thousand seven hundred and sixty four that's not including our option contracts and the money that we have already made from that and it's also not including the um, the shares that we've already sold which is four thousand three hundred sixty six dollars and forty two cent um, and then the profit that was received was 796 so it's not really adding up all of that but once again you can do your own spreadsheets kind of add stuff up and go from there anyway have a great day enjoy yourselves please like subscribe comment on the page hey have a good one bye